<clears throat> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. With Thanksgiving quickly approaching and the weather getting just a bit crisper. Oh yeah, you notice I'm not wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> it, it, it is cold in here. <laughs> it is cold. So I'm getting in the mood for some hot apple cider for the holidays, or at least for the colder weather. And and, and to be honest, we can't get you know, nothing is working in this place at the moment. So that's why we're cold. Oh, it is too. It's cold. You said turn on the heater. Yeah, but if you turn on the heater, the the landlord gets unhappy. The land. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. Anyway, keeping those utility bills down. <laughs> That's right. Okay, you, you, you would be happy to get this room up to 72 degrees. <laughs> so anyway, um, making hot apple cider. Now, one of the first things, of course, you need is cider. This this is just your old garden variety one from Vons. They also have some absolutely wonderful ciders that already have spices in them, but you know, what happens if you just have a plant on one? Yeah. Right here? What can you do to make it taste more like that hot apple cider you love? Yeah. So, we're going to show you a couple different ways of doing it. Of course, this is one of those Disney ones. This is one of my favorite mugs of all. It's the villains. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Why would she like a villain's cup? <laughs> well, it's just fun. And so, of course, hot apple cider <laughs> is always the first thing you want to start with. Different ways to do it, of course, is just to have your great old cinnamon sticks. Put them in there, yeah. heat it up, stir it. That's always a nice way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a standard way right there. Yeah, but if you want to give it a little bit more variety, you can. There's a couple uh, well, things that you can do. You know, that one we discovered, which we're waiting to use to see what it's going to be like. Actually, you can take the cinnamon stick, do a little bit of grating of it because it's fresh cinnamon, and then start the stirring. You could, of course, pour in cinnamon spices. This is the easiest way besides that's just taking the stick in. I know, that's a huge one. Yeah, be careful about how you do this because the holes... Yeah, you can open it up wrong, you be, dump it. The holes uh, can be quite big. Yeah, I would I would open the lid up and just simply stick a spoon, a spoon in there. Because you don't look. want more than an end of stuff just on a spoon. a little bit. But this one I happen to love. This is... Actually, I picked this up from the 99 cents store. You're going to laugh. There are, there's cinnamon in here and sugar. And so... Yeah. Basically, you just take the lid off. The it's head. actually meant to be like making cinnamon toast out of. But... It should work this way, too. I'm willing, see, waiting to see what this is going to taste like. Actually, this, I'm going to put some of this because I want this one. Okay. Now, also, a variety that you can do. They do have a, a little ingredients on the back of this, which is hot apple mint tea. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Really good. And we, we actually happen to have mint with well, us. So. See, it has tea bags or loose tea and chopped fresh mint. So you can, of course, use some of the the tea with the mint in it already with the peppermint tea bags yep. if you want with the cider. Where you just, okay, in a medium saucepan bring the apple cider and uh, water to a rolling boil. Move the heat, add tea and mint. So you could do that. The other thing, if you happen to have a mint plant at home. Yeah, I mint plant, you put the mint leaves in all by themselves. I know, actually I haven't gotten the mint plant yet, but I want to get one of those. But I also have this, this is from Whole Foods, it's just peppermint leaf. And I was actually using this for some wraps for peppermint. <laughs> but it works just the same because I could add this into the cider if I wanted. Yeah. Peppermint. Tea. Oh, you know, I just dawned on me. You know, a tea ball would be perfect for something like that. Yeah, a tea ball would be perfect with that. Actually, maybe we should warm this up. Oh, would you like some cider too? <laughs> we have a limited budget. We've got half a container of cider. No, that's, it's just like that's the cider we have left. No, no, what we're doing is we're, we're, as we tell people, we're waiting on the cable people so we can't leave to go get anything. What we're doing is we're working with what we have. We're killing time, folks. Don't tell people that. I, I, okay, we're, okay, well, 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 Fox News says they're fair and balanced. Well, we're more fair and balanced than anybody because we tell people the truth. We would be out getting stuff right now. Yes, we would be out getting some things to show and demonstrate. But, you know, part of it is I wanted to talk about cider anyway. Yeah. So we're going to talk about it like this. Yeah. Okay. 
So this one has the cinnamon and sugar. Oh, we could do blind taste test yeah. with the cinnamon stick. Yeah, except for the fact that I'm, we're all sitting here watching what's going into which. So you'd have to really close your eyes to sit there and do a blind taste test this time. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Because we will close the eyes. Okay, anyway. Or we don't have to. Anyway, here's the cinnamon stick. That one's going to be heated. This one has just a little bit of this. What should we do to this guy right here? Did you just oh. put the stuff with the cinnamon stick both in the same one? Of course. Oh, well, you know. Okay, we'll try it with just the cinnamon stick then. Yep. Well, because you 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 contaminated well, she's contaminated the test already. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a blind taste test, but everybody's standing next to me watching which cup has got which. And I know, but see, part of it is if we put blinders on. Actually, no, th this is kind of. <laughs> and then she's contaminated one of the jars by kind of cups by putting both ingredients in it. So, so one's gonna taste different than no, the other. No, we'll taste which one just tastes better. Yeah. I mean, this isn't like when we were doing. What was it? The uh, vanilla Dr. Pepper, was it? And yeah. the, the cherry? <laughs> yeah, but they're giving you the, you, you basically, they give you, they give you the things and you've got the taste in your mouth and you can't figure out which one. Okay. Now, of course, here's the other way to do it, which is to, of course, pour this into a, a cauldron of pepper. And this one happens to be royal mulling spices. Yeah. Now, yeah. There's lots of spices available. You can sit there and put this in a little... What is it? What do you call it? A little tea ball. A little tea ball. Or you can, you know, we're going to have a, a, a tip on, you know, there's going to be on the Not a Spring Chick DVD about another way of doing it, which is a real simple way. Oh, yeah. But in here, this is what's in the ciders if you, if you want to do your own. This one has cinnamon, orange peel, lemon peel, cranberry, vanilla extract, orange oil, star anise, and cardamom, and cloves. Ooh, vanilla extract. You know what? That is special vanilla also. Okay. Where? Is it? Okay, you can always... <laughs> if you have vanilla bean, I happen to have a special one. Classic vanilla premium quality. Actually, I picked this up from Mexico. Mm -hmm. so, like, I, I know, but if you add it to one of the... <laughs> you need a third cup to do that one. Oh, this smells really good. Okay, smell it. Okay, we're, we're going to do a third cup. Yeah, it smells okay, like vanilla. Smell okay, we're going to do... Okay, we'll do a third cup now. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, remember we always talk about a changing... I know, it's getting dark in here, too. Oh, actually, oh, you know what? We could do one the same. Oh, we'll do this. Everybody's getting a cup, guys. <laughs>